what is up welcome to drifting into freedom today i'm going to give you five tips if you're planning on moving in your car this is going to be more to help you prepare for that move so let's get started okay so this isn't any particular order but i will say you definitely want to make sure that you have some type of emergency fund especially prior to you moving into your car because one of the things that happened to me was i actually took a trip so it was 24 hours going to new mexico 24 hours uh coming back now we'll say about maybe two weeks later my car was like okay i'm tired <laughs> you really did a number on me i was actually driving on the highway one evening and my car started smoking now it turns out i needed to replace the thermostat house but my point is if i didn't actually have that emergency fund available let's just say i would have been screwed so you always want to just make sure you set aside at least something I don't care if it's even a hundred dollars just make sure you have something just in case you need to stay at a hotel or an airbnb or something you just want to make sure you have an emergency fund uh readily available okay <laughs> moving on another thing that you want to have is some type of generator unfortunately i still don't have one this is more along the lines of being optional but it would be nice to be able to go wherever i want to especially now that my job is completely remote uh, one of the things that i've been doing is going to coffee shops and you know like your starbucks your panera bread and places like that so it's not too bad but like i said before it would be nice because then it just gives me more options so this is something definitely to think about now there are plenty of options if you go to amazon i know i actually looked at a few i just haven't made my purchase just yet right now i am still doing my research i am looking at jackery uh, so we'll see what happens but there is a plethora of generators available on amazon.com so this would definitely be good especially when it comes down to charging all of your electronics so i definitely would recommend this if it's in your budget if not like i said you can kind of sort of do what i'm doing and go to a coffee shop or the library or whatever the case may be all right moving on now my next tip is to have some type of gym membership uh the gym that i actually use is planet fitness what's so great about planet fitness is if you get the higher tier, which I believe is the platinum, you pretty much can go to any Planet Fitness all over the world, which is great. This actually came in handy, especially when I uh, did my road trip to New Mexico. First thing I wanted to do, of course, after a 24 hour uh, road trip was I wanted to get freshened up. I wanted to take a shower. And so I was actually able to go into the Planet Fitness uh, located in New Mexico, which was great. So you definitely wanna make sure you have a gym membership prior to you uh, moving into your car because like I said, this is going to uh, save you the hassle. Plus, you'll be able to take showers, you'll be able to exercise, and you'll really be able to work on your mind, your body, your soul. So I would definitely recommend that you go ahead and get this if possible before you move into your car. <laughs> Another thing you wanna do is possibly visit the location where you plan on staying. Um, I actually did this uh, prior to me actually going out and living in my car. I just really wanted to get a sense of the area, wanted to make sure it was safe. I actually stealth camped over at the place where I was going to stay for the weekend. I just really wanted to make sure overall that the environment, that the area was safe. Um, and what I did was I went early in the morning, you know, checked it out. And then I also wanted to make sure again, you know, there was, I wasn't getting any like bad vibes. So I definitely think if you have an idea of a place or an area where you are thinking about stealth camping in, you definitely want to check it out. Uh, there's plenty of apps out there. I'll actually leave a few in the description this way. At least you have some type of uh, guide to guide you on this journey. But I highly recommend, like I said, that you test the wheels a little bit 
this way when you do finally go out and make the full plunge at least you'll feel safe obviously once you find this place you definitely don't want to stay in the same place uh, multiple times due to safety so when you are planning this out you know at least have maybe up to 10 spots where you can actually rotate so i definitely think that that's uh very important as well another thing that you want to look into is something to put on the windows whether it's covers or some type of curtains uh, you can actually buy sunshades or you can make them on your own i actually made my own sunshade i just recently threw them out because you know the glare that it was giving i just i don't know i didn't really like it uh, of course i could have put some type of cloth over it but I just decided to just throw them out and I'm actually going to be ordering some sunshades. Uh, this way they fit my car and they're custom made. There's a couple websites out there. Obviously there is weathertech.com and there's also, I can't remember the name of the place that I ordered from. <laughs> I actually ordered the sunshades, believe it or not. And like they say, reading is fundamental. So get this, I ordered the sunshades and obviously I didn't read the description because the ones that I actually ordered ended up being uh, they actually had a white uh, front so obviously the goal of this is to be stealth so I ended up sending those back I believe I ordered the sunshades from I believe it's called like heat wave or something like that I don't know I'll put it at the bottom so this way you you if you want to go on there and check out the website now i couldn't use weathertech.com because my car is a little bit on the older side so i had to uh use this uh, particular company instead but like i said um you know i ended up sending them back so for the meantime i've actually been using my curtains and actually a black sheet but you can also use like you can even go a little cheaper and just throw like a towel up there I've seen people talking about covering their, their windows with towels. So that's also another option as well. So, and of course my bonus tip is keeping a positive attitude about the situation. Because when you first move in your car, you are gonna have doubts. I can't tell you how many times I've doubted myself and I asked myself why in the world I did this. But then when I think of the future, when I think of, you know, all of the things that this is this situation is going to allow me to be able to do the freedom to travel, the freedom to have road trips, the freedom to save money, the freedom to pay off my bills and the opportunity to, you know, share my journey with you. I mean, when I think about all of these amazing things, to me, it's definitely worth it. But at the end of the day, you got to think positive. As a matter of fact, I'm sending you positive vibes, positive. It's all positivity up in here. <laughs> no negativity, all positive energy. It's going to be okay. Yeah, the first couple of days, first couple of weeks is going to be crazy again, but you're doing this for a reason. And I believe in the end, the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I do believe that your moment, your time will eventually, everything will eventually come together. But you got to keep that positive vibe. You got to keep that positive energy. So if you are around negativity, just break away from it quick. <laughs> Get away, negative negative energy no negative energy so please stay positive you will have your moment you will have your time yes indeed so anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment down below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we drift into freedom together see you soon <laughs> And if you want to know the five tips to prepare you before you move in your car, definitely check out my next video.